Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 602. It is the eve of uh, Open 2016. I can't believe it's here already, guys. So of course, um, we have to start with a little bit of um, what are the keys to the Open, right? Everybody's putting these out there and I think a lot of them are similar. Here are mine and this is uh, the things that, whether you're a beginner to uh, advanced, elite, doesn't matter. These, th these three things you really need to keep in mind when starting the, stra or when starting the Open. The first one is to have a strategy, right? R-A-T-E-G-Y, that's all right. I'll learn how to spell sooner or later, right? To have a strategy, right? Whether, so the, the biggest thing that we see that happens in the beginner and even intermediate level is that they don't actually have a strategy. They don't run through these workouts, whatever they may be presented, um, enough times, all right? Or at least the combination of movements, right? So sometimes somebody might be very efficient in something like muscle ups or deadlifts, but when you put those th two things together and you're under that metabolic demand, it might become very different. So I would say to have a strategy. The second thing to do is to know yourself, right? Here's the thing, if your max amount of push-ups or, or muscle-ups are 10, okay, and you happen to jump into a workout that has five reps of muscle-ups and it's a 15-minute workout, although you might be able to do five reps fairly consistently, it's really important to know that you are gonna break down over that next 15 minutes. So it's important to do these workouts in advance, know how your body responds, and know that that movement's gonna break down under duress, right? So know yourself, don't just start, don't bring out these, uh, these rep schemes just because they're written on paper as 10, 5, 10, that doesn't mean they have to be done in rep schemes of 10, 5, and 10. Understand that these can be broken down. It's about how much work you can do over the longevity of the workout, not how much you can do in those short reps. And the last one here, and this is the one that no one does well enough, right? Is recover. Unless you're an elite athlete out there, all right? Not many of you guys will push yourself as hard as you possibly can for the better half of five weeks, all right? And not to mention this, if, if you guys, uh, if you're at the point where you're an elite person and you only have to do one max effort um, workout in that one week, one week span, it's not as bad as a toll on our body. But a lot of us out there, we're not elite, right? So we keep on doing these workouts several times to try to get our best score to beat our friends, whatever that might be, right? So we're actually doing max effort workouts two, three, maybe even four times in a week for five weeks in a row, our bodies aren't used to that. So this is where recovery is gonna become so much important. Make sure that your protein intake is good. Make sure that your branched amino, mass, amino acids are good. Make sure that you're rolling out. Make sure that you're doing your baths and your soaks and everything else, right? So three, three tips, have a strategy. Know how your body reacts and make sure you recover. If you're not recovering, each week will get progressively harder for you and the likelihood of you having an injury will get progressively higher. Guys, I hope this helps you out. Good luck in the open tomorrow. Until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.